Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulate Heaven and this is going to be um, a very short video and I would imagine I won't do a video on this game for a while, this game is Australia. I've kind of enjoyed the hours that I put it into the game making this, uh, this village. I'm just going to show you guys my finished village. Um, basically I've added everything I would like to add with the current state of the game. I will be keeping an eye on the game when, it, when the game gets to a, st a state where it's more, well, you know, where there's more stuff and it's more playable and more people online and all this kind of stuff, then I will obviously do more videos, but I would imagine that will take quite a while. But anyway, without further ado, let's look at my lovely village. So this is where anyone who does join the village will spawn. This is like the spawn point. And look, yay! So I had this idea. <laughs> to put welcome on the floor using the again the uh, the farm things what do you call those things again farm fields crop fields that's the word farm field it's been a long day at work let's put it that way but yeah I thought that was kind of cool it, it, it's not perfect but it kind of works and you know I've basically used what they have given me to try to make my little uh, village yeah, so welcome. And then as you can see, I have a windmill right in the middle here. The windmill looks kind of cool. It doesn't seem to serve any kind of purpose at all. Like I said in the previous video on this game, I would really like it if they made it so that, that you know, if all of the actual um, buildings actually had a use. I mean, I do understand it's a very early version of the game. As you can see, I put a campfire on the top of the windmill to make it look kind of cool and spooky. Well, maybe not spooky, but you know what I mean? So yeah, I used the materials, the options I had <laughs> to try and make this, uh, you know, a gate kind of thing. I've got loads of money. Basically, I've got 47,000 gold. And we got some people walking into each other, as we often do. I haven't had a lot of issues with people not buying stuff in the market. It seems like the market seems to work. You see I have another 1,800 gold to pick up and you see that the stored food is being sold very quickly. So I'm rich, so I don't need any money basically. But like I said, I mean, there wasn't really anything else. I mean, I already have the church. Ooh! There's a Halloween Traveller. Now, I did hear there was an update about Halloween. But when I logged in, when it was Halloween, I didn't see anything. But look, a Halloween Traveller is here. What is this? What are you doing, son? Hello Wescourt, I noticed Simulated Heaven doesn't have any Halloween decorations up yet. For the low price of 500 gold, I can teach you how to build six new Halloween designs. What do you say? Press enter to spend 500 gold. Yay! Okay, let me see. There you go. You can now access the new Halloween items from the building map. Manager K, I'm going to leave shortly to help spice up other villages. Oh, cool. I know you can actually push him. That's in the water with you. Push you in the water, you're scary. Bye bye. No, I didn't work. <laughs> oh, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm not swimming. Oh, there's like a splash thing. When you go in the water, it says splash. I don't think it did that before. Yeah, anyway, so that's cool. So you can see. You know, they are updating this game. Um, they are trying to build on the, on the game. And like I've said, I mean, I think the game has a lot of potential, but there is a long way to go. I mean, what you have right now is very basic. But anyway, let's make us a Halloween village. It's a little bit late for Halloween, but it's okay. <laughs> It will actually fill up some space in here because as you can see I kind of ran out of ideas of what I could do in the middle bit because like I said I didn't just want to spam loads of like 
churches and windmills and stuff really and the, the pond is not very big and the horse stable looks exactly the same as the cow thing it's basically just a rectangular fence the same as the cow one that you can put a horse in so that was not very exciting so yeah before there wasn't really any any new stuff okay and like I said the pond is like really tiny so yeah Ooh, a cauldron a pumpkin a tombstone a coffin a skeleton throne and a castle we're gonna buy a castle guys whoa look at this baby welcome to my Halloween castle I know it's a bit late but oh well but like I said one of the things I really like about this game is you can actually play something and then it's very easy for you to change it Wow can you actually walk up everything you can look hello wanna come in my castle man it's lovely I know it's not Halloween anymore anymore mate but sorry about that you know I didn't see it before what is that there's like a looks like some kind of weird thing up there which I can't ex explain because I'm not very scientific right we have a castle guys that is making our village look much more epic I mean although it was kind of added for Halloween I would say this is a great thing to have in all year round you know most people would love to have a castle wouldn't they in their village I mean I I suppose it depends what kind of village you're trying to aim for anyway let's see what the other things look like skeleton throne oh look at that it really is look at that I mean obviously I thought I did realize it was going to be a throne with a skeleton in it but still question is where to put it by the welcome sign let's put by the welcome sign let's go have a look at it <clears throat> a skeleton with a pumpkin head awesome <laughs> whoa he's got a massive like scythe thing whoa look at that look at you not particularly scary but very Halloween like okay the castle was way more impressive though to be honest the castle's pretty epic right what else there's a coffin I suppose we should put the coffin again on the other side of our scary welcome thing over here yeah let's scare everyone away right so coffin looks rather small let's put a couple of coffins because they'll look more scary when they're all together when there's a couple of them there you go put a couple of those uh, a tombstone again I'm zoomed out quite a lot so it looks quite small it looks like a weird proportion to the uh, the size of the coffin, maybe. Hard for me to tell from up here. And a pumpkin and a cauldron. Let's go for the cauldron first. It's green. Wow. The cauldron is green. And there's loads of ghosts flying out of it. That's cool. <laughs> right. Last thing that we haven't seen is a pumpkin. Okay, let's zoom in. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, skeletons in the coffins. I quite like the coffins. The tombstone is really tiny. Let's go into like first person mode. What does it say on it? What? It's got something in it which looks like maybe Latin. In it or on it? You get the idea. Come on, man. Like the the controls are really weird when you're in first person view. I wish they'd do something in in the future to make the controls, you know, because I do like playing games in first person view, but it's very weird to play this game in first person view. Yeah, the I would say I like the coffins. This is all right. The pumpkin is all right. The green 
cauldron. I like the animation, you know, of the, the ghosts. I don't know, it's it's alright, I suppose. But of course the castle is epically awesome. And the coffin as well. And the skeleton chair thing thrown. So yeah. Now we got a bit of a scary village. So I mean obviously this guy I think it's just one guy. The name of the, the company that made this game, I believe, are called Norwood Interactive, and he did actually comment a few times on other videos. And yeah, like I said, I I do really like the idea of this game. But it's it is very early, there's hardly anyone who seems to be actually playing the game. But I would say that if they kind of flesh the game out with more things you can build, flesh it out with more activities, like meaningful activities, like the fishing is really cool, but it would be awesome if you could actually get higher value fish the further that you go out, or you you know, if you can build various boats of different sizes and stuff like that. So I think he's aware of that as well and I think they are going to be working on the game. I just hope they don't give up on the game. I think this game with a bit more time or actually quite a lot more time and effort would be really cool. I do re really like the idea of these kind of games and there aren't enough of them on PC so there you go. So thanks for watching this video. Like I said it's a relatively short one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.